Hello everyone, welcome back. Quick update of this new uh, upgraded DCA limit calc and also um, an update on PT feeder. The PT feeder settings are now available. Um, so check below this video for the PT feeder settings. Uh, they're working really well. If you have PT feeder, you can get that. And uh, the DCA limit calculator, if you have the old one, it's on sheet two. Just click on sheet two and you'll see the old one. Uh, sheet one has the new upgrade. Uh, when you first open it, you'll see fill only the parts that have the uh, arrows. So total balance, you fill these parts where I have put the arrows. Do not change any of the uh, colored green or red or blue parts uh, the spreadsheet will calculate those just fill it these with the arrows including these here so just real quickly um, say I had I started with one Bitcoin let's say I had 0 0.5 bitcoins I have my keep balance at 20 percent spreadsheet calculates the reserve keep balance the available balance my default initial cost percentage is usually 2.5. You can pick your uh, own default cost. Max trading pairs, I have five. Uh, the, bar, uh, the spreadsheet suggests your default DCA max cost is 0 0.1 for every coin. So put these in your DCA file and put these keep balance initial cost percentage and max trading pairs. Put that in your pairs file. Save. And uh, the spreadsheet will tell you each coin will not pass DCA uh, number three if you have it set this way. So if the market crashes or it, it, it sinks or Bitcoin dumps, no coin will pass DCA 03. Now, how does this help? Well, for one, it makes sure you have enough uh, keep balance, but not too much. But you have enough to get uh, a coin out of DCA when it's stuck in bags. Uh, number two, this method only focuses on one coin at a time. Uh, everybody I've seen, everyone I've seen, when they uh, when they have bags, they DCA everything. Well, this method only focuses on DCAing one coin at a time, and I'll go into that in a little bit more detail on the next video. Also, if you want to be able to DCA more levels, uh, there's one or two things you can do. You can change your default DCA by percentage. I know in Profit Trailer version one, you could not change the DCA by percentage. It was always 100%, which means it doubles uh, 0 0.008 plus 100% of 0 0.008 is 0 0.016. 0 0.016 plus 100% of 0 0.016 is 0 0.032 and so forth. So in PT version two, you can reduce this. Let's try 75. That'll give you more room to DCA because it's doing 45, 75% of 0 0.008 and adds it and get 0 0.014. 75% of 0 0.014 adds it to that, gets 0 0.025, etc. So you get more room to DCA if you reduce this number. However, if you reduce this number, uh, it may take a coin longer to go back up to the top because you're not DCAing as big. Anyway, this is the summary of the spreadsheet. If you want spreadsheet, the link is below this video. And like I said before, also the um, PT feeder ultimate settings are also available. I will keep you updated and thanks for watching.